you to give me the the evidence from the Quran and Sunnah. No, I, I have it. I have it. You are you are great, my son. You see, when I said that Happy Christmas, Happy New Year, that doesn't mean what is Christmas? No, no, what is Christmas? It's pagan. It's pagan festival. What is Christmas? What does Christmas mean? It means the birth of Christ. <laughs> yeah, the birth right. of Christ. Birth of our Nabi we celebrate. Don't we? We don't celebrate. Yes. We don't. Maulu? No, we don't celebrate. That's bid'ah. Bid that is bid'ah. We don't celebrate. The, you, you are... Neither the Prophet Muhammad in his life nor the companion has been celebrated this... Uh... Oh, oh. There are millions of Muslims, including myself. I, 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 I don't mind having a birthday celebration of the Prophet. You say bid'ah? I said, okay, my son. I'm not going to argue with you. I don't want to convert you. I don't want you to convert me. You see? I'm, I'm not here. But Quran and Sunnah will judge between us. Okay, leave it to Allah. That judgment leave it no, to Allah. How can we leave it to Allah? Assalamu <laughs> <laughs> alaikum, brother. <laughs> brother, so many brothers, they want to see you debate with the Pope. Have you ever got a chance to debate with the Pope? No, the guy's too clever. He's too clever. <laughs> he doesn't want to. No. He doesn't want to. No, no, he doesn't. He knows. See, he's, he's cleverer than most people. He's cleverer than Swagat. He's cleverer than Shorosh, he knows, he doesn't want to make a fool of himself. But he went to Mali and asked again, no, no, the same thing, no, 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 I want to no, die no, with the Muslims. No, that's a game. You see, he's playing, it's a game he's playing. He's a, he's a master psychologist. He's a master psychologist. Wherever he goes, he said, we must have a dialogue with the Muslims. Who is His Holiness, the Pope. When he went to Kenya, he said that. When he went to Nigeria, he said that. When he went to Turkey, he said that. Now he said that. When he went to Senegal, he said that. Now, what he's actually telling his people, go and convert the Muslims. But he doesn't use the word convert. Because if you use the word convert, you're going to react. Because when the priest comes along with his dog collar, you're going to chase him away. Because he's going to steal your children. But when he talks about dialogue, you can't say no. Because Allah is telling us to have a dialogue with him. So you can't say no. But you'll come out second best. Because you're not trained for that. You are not trained for that. His missionaries are trained for that. So actually he's telling them, go and convert these people. They are already prepared to receive Christianity. They only need a gentle push. That's all. So that's actually what he's telling. So I caught him out. I said, right, Your Holiness, I'm prepared to come and have a dialogue with you. And it's a long story. It's a long story. The guy, shh, he fizzled off. No, he doesn't mean dialogue. What he's talking about, telling his people, go and convert them. They're already prepared. See, they already believe that Jesus is the Masih, Masih, Masih. They already believe in his miraculous birth. They already believe that he is the Messiah. They already believe that he gave life to the dead by God's permission. And he healed those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. What more is required? Give him a gentle push, man. That's all. So that's what he's telling his people. It's a game he's playing. Right, my son? I, but I see the queue is knowing. I see it's increasing. The queue. <laughs> <laughs> because, no. because of the time, I think we can only be take two questions only, because we have one from the ladies also. Some people are writing, and the rest, no more questions. Please, please, please. Sorry. Please, please. Please, please. Please. As Brother, you mentioned a book which you said is even more worse than Sulman Rushdie's. If we don't read books like these because we don't want to publicize them, how will we know what is being printed about Islam? And if we don't know what is being printed, how can we fight against it? Thank you. You see, it's not everybody's job. I don't know whether you bought the Satanic Verses by Rushdie. Did you buy it? Why didn't you? Because no, no. What I'm trying is a rhetoric question. What? How many of you have bought satanic verses? Please put up your hands. How many of you got the satanic verses at home? Yeah? Look, in 200, 300 people, two persons got the satanic verses. Do you expect them all to buy satanic verses and read them, support that Hamis? You want to support him? Because every extra book that you buy, you're supporting the guy. Do you know that? You want to do that? No. This is for the experts. The experts have a right. Jamal Badawi or Sheikh Zahran, or Ahmad Didat, or whoever in the community, Kalim Siddiqui, these are the people, they must go out of the way to buy the book, study the book, and answer the book. It is not necessary for every Tom, Dick, and Harry, everybody to buy the book. Damn it all, what you going to do with that book? 500 and some 20 pages, how many pounds it costs you? What are you doing? You, you want to go and buy that book? You want to make that guy popular? No, so in other words, I'm telling you, look, this is what's going on. I'm in the field. I'm monitoring it for you. I said, look, now for that, let's do this. Don't start making a noise. 
the reverend so and so Mori, he wrote this book in which he says our Nabi didn't don't do that what you're doing you're propagating the shaitan then people want to know anybody comes along with the book you want to buy because you have already spoken about it you want to do that I don't want to do that see satanic verses I had the right to read and tell you what is there how to fight it that Kalim Siddiqui you must buy the book read it and tell you how to fight it right but for each and every Muslim to buy that book you say you want to know what you want to know shit now that's, you want to go into shit yourself no no this is the doctor's job you know wanting to put his finger all over the place to find out what's wrong with you that's not my job and everybody's job leave it to the specialist okay my son I want to first start by making admission I'm going to pass a buck to you I'm going to pass one to you but I'd like a buck of my own as well right. so if you would give me the opportunity I'd like to take up the offer and one day give a talk here in Shabbat. Mashallah. Is that okay? Mashallah. I'll give you my name and address mm. afterwards because really we all have a responsibility and you yourself since I was born I used to hear about well when I grew older one of the first things that brought me interest into Islam was some of your video cassettes and I came to listen to you now looking back now you have a position that I don't enjoy that none of these brothers enjoy you have a position of influence people listen to you and yes in Britain we should deal with the kafir we should explain to them what's wrong we should show them the truth but also many Muslims come to listen to you and look to you with expectation and although ourselves and myself as a Muslim four years ago I knew what is kafir I knew him I knew who is kafir but I did not recognize kufr that's something we must understand is a distinction what do I mean someone can be Pakistani and he can be kafir we know that but someone can be Pakistani and he carries kufr how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes in the Quran inna hazihi ummataqum ummatan wahida this your nation is one nation in Islamic international law, forget UN, in Islamic international law, we are one nation, not Pakistani, not Malaysian, not one Indonesia. That's Kuf sorry. We didn't give you the time to lecture. <laughs> not now. Huh? Let me finish. He's taken the opportunity no, to I, I, lecture. I, 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 Look, a time okay. chance will be given to you. Okay, inshallah, I'm Adida. I just want to finish one thing, yes? Yes, one thing. You, uh, we won't be late for Muslim. Okay. The question is this now. Please, please, brother. Yes, I tell you. Brothers, brothers. All right. So let him ask you questions. We don't need no more. Shake this. That's enough. Answer the question. Okay, I'll ask. Please. Let me ask you a question and let him answer you. Right. Okay. Imam Radin. Okay. There is a panel and the organs and don't have the decision. The panel of the house has got the decision. The 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 yes, he's... Imam Radidin. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. You know, look. Imam yeah. Radidin, inshallah, if I don't have a chance today, I'll have a chance in the future. Yeah, Remember me in dua. Please. Okay. Now listen. Tell us if you will show. Okay. Tell I'll tell you what. The question is, as a Muslim, I want to remove the monka. When someone insults my mother, I hurt. When someone insults the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam, I hurt. I want to remove the munkah. Yes, I can go to Christian debates with him. But the, yeah, the question is this. How can I implement the hudud on Salman Rushdie? I can't do it myself. The magic word comes again. I need system to do this. I, my hands are tied without the system. This is something we must realize. Just direction, just before we finish, we've got two questions from the sisters. Uh, the first sister says that I disagree, disagree with you about the age. Please, please. Yes, the first sister says.